Uh, so France is the second largest market in Europe. Uh, it has a lot of opportunities thanks to the, the developments in purchasing and consumer behaviour, but also in terms of regulations. Um, there are many opportunities from Finnish, uh, Finnish companies uh, regarding functional foods, for example, plant-based products and oats, uh, but also regarding superfoods in terms of berries, mushrooms, algae and fermentation, and also for food tech. And then there's also opportunity for more pleasure products such as alcohol and non-alcoholic drinks and also snacking. When you to launch your uh, product and company on the French market, the first step is to understand the French market, learn as much as you can on the competition, who are the key players, uh, what are the trends, are there any rules regarding your product, for example, when it comes to alcohol. Um, the second part is to get to know local players, develop your network, go to trade shows and speak with people, even go and visit France and the supermarkets. And the third question is to think about uh, how you want to approach the market language in terms of language. Uh, people are often scared that French people don't speak English. It's not so true today. Uh, people do speak French, uh, English, Ooh. <laughs> uh, but uh, so it's not necessary to enter the market. But however, if you want to grow and really create your presence on the French market, then it's interesting to have a local partner or somebody on your team who speaks French um, and then finally uh, just think about your brand image and storytelling how to sell your the finishness and the competitive advantage uh, of your product. Uh, so Finland and the products that you offer have the great advantage of being considered on the French market as being reliable as being of high quality and sustainable uh, the cultural difference with the French market is not as big as you think. Um, there's the common European language. Um, so yeah, you have all your chances and allons-y. <laughs>